everyone welcome back to my channel the scottish squirrel it's very nice to, to for you to be here and hi to all my new subscribers i really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet it would be amazing if you like these videos if you could give me a subscribe that would be excellent and it's thursday the 11th of march and i've just got a little top up haul here so i thought i would just come and show you Okay, it's for our family of three at the minute. So for Easter, we've got some Mr. Kipling Six Hot Cross Slices, which were one pound at the co-op just now. So we thought if we get these, put them away for Easter, for like afternoon tea at Easter. And we've got Mr. Kipling Eight Egg Fancies, which I'm not quite sure what they are, but I'm sure the kids will like them. <laughs> And we've got a pack, oh, I think these were £1.50, yeah. And we've got a pack of five cream eggs, which was £2. I know you can get them cheaper at other places, but well, I've only got the co-op right now, so that's what we've got. And we've got some bread, we've got the co-op slice seeded bloomer, which is about £1.40. It's on like the fresh bakery section and it's really nice. To it's best, really good toasted as well. And I got a loaf of bread but uh, it's a tiger bloomer which is the, like the same as this one but just a plain tiger bloomer and that's about 140 but we had some of it for lunch so it's over there in the tub <laughs> and I picked up these morning rolls Harry Cow morning rolls they were reduced from 31 pence from one pound 55 I'm just going to put them in the freezer and I got a loaf of this toasty Warbington's this is just handy for when if the kids are hungry at night time and they just want a bit of toast. And that was reduced to 23 pence. So I'll just keep that in the freezer and then you can just pull out slice a slice or two whenever they want a bit of toast at night time or even for breakfast. And I'd run out of my milled linseed, which is just flax seeds that are milled up. And you can use these as an egg replacer or I mix them in with my porridge or you can put them in smoothies and they're just lots of fibre, lots of omega-3 and they're a good source of protein so they're really good for you so I just shove them in anything. The kids don't even know that I'm putting these milled lim seeds in because they don't taste it <laughs> which is good. Um, I have got some of this Nescafe Gold Oat Latte Instant Coffee and it's just like it was reduced to two pounds and you get six sachets and it's just like oat latte just put the water in and it goes all frothy and it's just good because we can't get out to any cafes to have a coffee out or anything so just having some of these will be nice and i got some of the co-op sweet chili sauce got two of them which was about one pound 40 each which is a better buy than the one that I bought from a local shop the other day, which was really small and expensive. So I just stocked up with them. And I got a sweetheart cabbage, which I'm not quite sure. I can't remember how much that was. It was about a pound, I think, around about that. That's just so we can have some greens in, because we're run, running low in greens. And I've got three pack of mixed peppers. Sorry, I'm probably making the screen go all funny. These are just three pack of mixed peppers, which is about one pound nine, because I've only got a, like one or so left. And a three pack of garlic, because out of my big as the haul, and I got about nine cloves of gar, nine bulbs of garlic. I've only got like one bulb left, so because <laughs> I just stick lots of garlic in everything. We use it like to try to prevent cold and whatnot, and we like the taste so lots of garlic's good. And I just got two packs of the British carrots, which are about 60p a pack. Not very exciting, just two packs of carrots. And some Florette Chris Classic Crispy Salad Mix, I got one of them. And I got two bags of salad, the baby leaf salad, which was quite tasty, the spinach. Red leaf, red chard and rocket, but we ate it for lunch, so <laughs> you can't see it. So yeah, that was just a pound at the minute. No, that one's not a pound. This one's about a pound, something like 120, but the florette one's a pound at the minute in the co-op. And we 
we did have some baby plum tomatoes but we ate half of them with our lunch so sorry <laughs> and we've got a pack of celery because it's all out of celery which is unusual so i had to get a packet of that to put that and everything and we've got two of these oh i'll be back in a minute my alarm up oh, back again that was just my alarm i've got some quick dinner rolls baking in the oven and i just had to check to see if they're ready or not but they've got a few more minutes okay so these crisps are for my son transformer snacks saucy barbecue can bake not fried there's just three packets of them for 39p and some alpro oat sugars i got two of them and two of the alpro soya just the normal soya ones and we have them in our tea and coffee because they don't curdle <laughs> these ones are good because the other kind of milks that i buy apart from the oatly barista that doesn't curdle and that's the best for tea and coffee but the other ones that I do buy, just for cereal and cooking and things, they, te they tend to curdle in hot tea and coffee. So these ones are the best. <laughs> so that's why I buy these. And got some of these Dent -a Life for the doggies. I think there's about five and at the minute, yeah, there's five and at the minute they're a pound each. So I've got two packs of them to stock up. I haven't started on the other packs that I bought the other day, but I like to stock up and keep lots on hand. So... I got two oven trays which were four pounds because just because I needed I needed some oven trays <laughs> and these were only four pounds and I was looking on Amazon for oven trays but you just get so put off when you look on Amazon because the reviews are always bad but they're always peeling or they're bending or warping in the oven so it's like you just never know what to buy and they're quite expensive on Amazon as well and you never know really what's well, you can't really gauge the size and whatnot, so I just picked up these cheap ones for four pounds each. But I know they'll do; they'll be grand. So yeah, that was everything. That was just a little top up for now. And I and thank you for watching. And please subscribe; that'd be brilliant. And pop a little comment below. Tell me what you thought. And I shall see you again soon, probably when I put the dinner out in a few minutes. Bye. Hi guys, this is just an Amazon haul, a subscribe and save items, just a few items. And there's rather a lot of milk, as you can see. <coughs> I, rather a lot of milk. It's twice the amount that I thought I was getting. So I'm going to have to go to Amazon and see what on earth is going on because they haven't sent it out for free. I have paid for all of these milks. It's supposed to be 24 milks <laughs> and I have paid for them all. And I was, there was only meant to be, there was only meant to be 12 coming. Six of these ones and six of these ones, but they're sent double out and they've charged me for it. So I'm going to have to have a look on my subscribe and save and contact Amazon and say what on earth is going on Amazon? Why you keep sending me these milks? And it could just possibly be down to my error, <laughs> which it probably is, but we'll, we'll see. So anyway, I've got these Oatly Oat Drink Barista Edition, which is the best milk for your tea and coffee. And... I'll just tell you the price. For one pack of six, the, the, the two, there was two different prices which confused me. For one pack, one was meant to be £13.35 for the pack of six, but it was charged £11.35. And I just think that's just too expensive for six cartons of oat milk because one of the other packs that I use, the pack that I usually get should be £10.80 and I only pay £9.18, which is a better <laughs> which is better than £11.35. So they've charged me two different prices for each of the milks, even though they're exactly the same. And one of the milks, I've actually only got five here because I don't know what the delivery people were doing because it came burst, one of the milks had burst open and the box was all higgledy haggard and big burst out of it and some of the other milks and the, and the milk the milk carton was still there but it had a big hole in it and it had just leaked and there was nothing in it by the time it got to me it was drained <laughs> it was an empty carton that had dried up so yeah that was 
wasn't too good and I don't even know what if I should tell Amazon or not because will they make me send all five back so I can get a six pack back or um so I shall th I'll think about what to do for that but yeah I just think £11.35 for six cartons of milk even though I think it's the best milk for tea and coffee is just a bit too expensive for me so I'm just going to have to rethink it I'm just going to have to ration ourselves with this milk and make it last a long time and find out why I got a double set sent out. <laughs> so the other milk is this Oatly Organic Oat Drink and this is so much cheaper than the Barista, I have no idea why. For one pack of the six Barista, I usually, no not the Barista, just the Oatly Oat Milk, I usually pay £7.65. Now that's just a huge difference. £7.65 for six cartons of this milk compared to this one. One of the ones that they charged me was, was eleven thirty-five, to and that was seven sixty-five. It's a huge difference, but it's just sad because sometimes this one, even though it's got a drink, it does kind of split and curdle in your tea and coffee if you don't pour it in right if you don't mix it right you don't put the hot water in first or whatever i never know how to do it sometimes my daughter gets it done and she manages to not split it and but every single time i try it splits so yeah so that's we've got 12 cartons of them we're all supposed to have six so i have no idea what happened i've paid for them i've checked the bag and i've paid for them so it was just confusing <laughs> And the other subscribe and save item I've got is this Hickory Liquid Smoke, Stubbs Liquid Smoke. And this is just a natural ingredient. And I just put it in like barbecue sauces and like stews, chilies, huge things like that, campfire stew and things like that. And it just gives it a nice smoky flavour or yeah, just things like that. If I want, if they want the stock to be nice and smoky, that I put some of this in, like a little teaspoon or a few drops. And this was one pound eighty nine, but if you get it on subscribe and save, it's one pound sixty one. And I can't find this this to buy this. I'm sure it's an American import because I can't find it anywhere in Scotland where I can buy this. It's just even any supermarkets, I can't find it. So I just get that from um, from subscribe and save. And the last thing from subscribe and save is these 12 pack of tropical sun black beans and there's 12 of them how much they pay for that i'll just have a look they were £9.48 but on subscribe and save you get to save some so they were £8.6 and i think for 12 cans £8.6 is not too bad considering i can't buy these close by to where i live so and black beans are just like super nutritious and high in protein. And we have them in chilies, we have them in burritos, we have them in like black bean burgers and salads, soups, anything. You just put them in and then they just, and they're just tasty as well. So that's what I've got for them. And also I buy these to add to my emergency stockpile. So I've also always got some nutritious tins on hand. So yeah, they will they will last for ages, and it's just two little things that I bought from Amazon this week. Was as cute as anything, little ceramic milk jug. It's just so cute. I just love it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the cutest little thing. And this was six pound ninety nine, which was probably quite expensive, but I just liked. I liked the little ridges that went up. It's just cute. And these little salt and pepper shakers, it just says mason at the bottom, that's the salt, and that's pepper mason. And I just thought they looked the little cutest little things ever. And they were uh, quite expensive, well, £5.99, they were quite expensive, which works at about three, just under £3 each. And I know if you can get to the discount stores, they would probably only be a couple of pounds, but you can't get we can't get to the discount stores just yet so yeah that's what came from amazon this week and i will show you what i bought for the co-op top-up shop hi guys so for the co-op things i'll just it's the 13th of march it's saturday and this is just the little bits i got picked up for the top-up shop for the co-op 
I got some sliced curly kale because I'd run out. I've used up the rest of the curly kale and some smoothies we've been having for the past few days, which have been really tasty. And I got an organic kale for that. That one, I haven't tried this one before, but it was a bit more expensive because that curly kale is a pound and the organic one's one pound fifty. That one just comes sliced up and this one comes in big leaves. And I thought I'd try the organic kale for the smoothies. I thought that might be a bit nicer. And we've just got some of these classic crispy salad packets, mixed salad. We've got two of these. There wasn't that very much choice in the co-op. It was Saturday and half the shelves were empty, especially the salad section and stuff. So I just got what I could, but my daughter like my daughter likes this type, so that's good. And these little bags are just a pound at the minute, which is good. And we've just got two packs of these cherry tomatoes, and these are about a pound each. And we've just got, does it say? Yeah, a sliced tiger bloomer, which is about 120 from the co-op, and that's a, that makes really nice sandwiches. And we just got a three pack of three sweet peppers. I was surprised to see a three pack of red ones. And they're about pound fifty, which is not too bad for three big peppers, I guess. And these are just nice chopped up and eaten or put into basically everything. <laughs> everything. Um, we've just got a bag of these British carrots. I got two bags the other day, but we eat so many vegetables that they're practically gone. We've got three red onions. I can't even remember how much they were. I got two bags of the, got some flour on there, probably from the bread. Two bags of the co baby potatoes, and they were one pounds each. So they'll be nice and some with our dinners next week. And a bag of frozen sweet corn, and I've opened it because to prepare our pizzas that we're just going to eat after this. That's why, why it's been opened to put some sweet corn on the pizzas and some honest value garden peas, which are the cheapest peas in the co-op. They're about a pound or a pound, just a pound and a few pence, which I know is not that cheap for cheap peas. Because in Asda and things, I think they were like 60p, but there you go. I don't have any choice. And just some honest value toilet tissues, a four pack, just to top up. And we've got more milk. <laughs> we think I buy so much milk. And I do actually seem to buy so much milk, but I do have a good stock of milk and it's, so it's not going to run out anytime soon, which is a lot better. I feel better when I'm not going to run out of milk because we just use it for our cereals, our teas and coffees, for cooking and things like that. Milk puddings like rice pudding, things like that. And when last year during the lockdown, one of the first things to go out of stock where we live was the plant-based milk and they didn't have any stock for weeks and weeks and weeks because I think every time it went back into stock people just seemed to flood there and buy all <laughs> and they just couldn't find any so I had to resort that's why I get it on subscribe and save now that's why I had to resort to Amazon subscribe and save to get it in but these Alpro ones are in offer at the minute for £1.25 which is not too bad for that because usually they're about 150 or 160 and they're the oat, no sugar ones and these are really good in your tea and coffee too because they don't split so these are actually quite nice too so the other little bits i got was two jars of the dried mixed herbs because i'd run out of them and i should have bought three but i was trying to keep the cost down <laughs> conscious of how much i was spending and i've got a pack of this organic super green power blend which was three pounds and it's, you only get 100 grams of it but i just thought it would be great for adding to smoothies and stuff like that what can we get in the back in the back it says we get organic wheatgrass powder organic pea protein powder and like barley grass and spinach powder and ginger powder spirulina powder so yeah, I just thought I'll try them in our smoothies and just give us a little nutrition boost, see what they're like. And it should last a while because you only need like a tablespoon or two. And so 100 grams should last. And I got I found this organic maca powder in the co-op. Perfect for boosting the nutritionals and flavour of hot drinks. I was, I was quite intrigued by this. 
because it says that it is made, the maca plant is part of the radish family with the maca powder being derived from the root. So it's like radish roots and you can use it in baking, casseroles, in your porridge. So I think I might try this in my porridge or my overnight oats and just give them a little nutrition boost, which, which, is, those, which is a good thing. It's got calcium, iron, zinc, thiamine and riboflavin and lots of fibre and lots of protein because it's a source and lots of B vitamins and it's low in fat. So it doesn't say anything about hot drinks. So I'll have to look that up and see how you put this into a hot drink because I don't want to make my coffee taste gummy. But I thought that would be nice in my porridge and just the kids' porridge. I just won't tell them it's in there. And I found these, these are new at the co-op, the Grow Plant-Based Eating Ice Cream Selection. You get two little salty caramel swirls and two chocolate brownies and they just looked really delicious and they're vegan. You get four mini cups and quite excited to try one of these tonight because we're having a movie night after we have our pizza and we're going to have one of them as a little treat, which is quite exciting because the co-op's never had these before. So I also got some free from chalk sticks, milk free. So these are vegan too. And I'm just going to put them in the freezer and we'll probably have, if the kids don't want one of these, they can have one of these or, and then we'll just keep the other ones till next movie night. So we'll have, we'll do that. So yeah, that's everything that I bought for a top-up shop. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching my various little hauls over the week that I've put into this one video and I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then please like my video, give it a big thumbs up and, and subscribe. That would be excellent if you could subscribe and then that would just be brilliant. <laughs> Help me grow grow my channel. And yeah. And pop a comment below. I think I think there's a community tab where you can like post comments, but I haven't actually found that one yet. But I'll try and find that one. I'll try and find it and post a comment. And I know some people have posted me comments, but when I actually click on the comments, they just disappear. So I don't know where the comments have gone. I just can't seem to access them. So if you've commented, a few people have commented and I just can't seem to access them. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm not ignoring anyone. I just, that's just how it is at the minute. Maybe I'll become better at YouTube and all the backstage part of it. And yeah, I'll figure it out. Or maybe it's just YouTube doing it. I don't know. But anyway, please like, subscribe. And if you know anyone who likes these type of videos, then share share them and that would be brilliant so until the next video have a lovely saturday evening or any the other the evening when you see this hope you're having a lovely evening and i will speak with you soon